Hi, I'm Gary Cassie. And I'm Dorenda Cassie. And we know that during these difficult times, you're looking for answers. So we've done some special programming called Live Free to give you answers where you are right now to help you have hope and encouragement that you can come out of tough times. That's right. In today's episode, we have a couple that found themselves in total despair to the point of wanting to commit suicide. The financial situation, the hopelessness was just overwhelming, but not today. Today, you'll find out how they became free and how they have a desire to help others learn what they learned. Today, you'll find the answers. On Live Free. Tonight, infections are spiking. The country under lockdown for the Developing pandemic. treatments in the vaccine. We announced that this is a global pandemic. People need to see the power of God in this generation. They need to see not the religious God, they need to see the power of God. That spirit of infirmity that is killing people through a virus is demonic. I believe that this is the hour for the church to rise up with the authority given to it to deal with situations just like this. Life and death is in your tongue, and God has given you more authority over them than anyone else. All the benefits of the kingdom are legally yours. You have the absolute authority in this thing. Welcome, we're Gary and Drinda Cassie today on this special, special edition talking about life in difficult times. Living free is what we wanna see. And so we have some special guests, of course, Drinda's with me and Steve and Mindy are with us today. And we're excited to have you as a guest. Yes, and we, uh, this is exactly. not new territory for you. And yes, we wanna sure. talk about your past experience 2008, kind of a deja vu, but you've, we've learned a lot. You've learned a lot about how to handle this particular environment. Yes. And we want your expertise and what you've learned to help our viewers mm -hmm. today. So anyway, Steve, uh, Dren, do you want to ask anything or start off? I just want to say you can live free. You don't have to be in fear no matter what's going on. There are answers That's for your right. problems. And we're going to hear some of the answers from Steve and Mindy today, how they walk through some tough times. And, you know, tough times can be a place of reckoning, a place where we see what we need to change in our life. Mm -hmm. And that can be the best thing that ever happened to us when we get to the end of ourselves, right? And you guys yes. found yourself yeah. at the end. You found yourselves there, yeah, right? Yeah, tell us, uh, let's just take a brief moment, go back to 2008, what you were doing, what happened? Sure, absolutely. Well, 2008, we found ourselves like many people find themselves today. Uh, the difference is back then it was a sector, it was housing, it was real estate, banking, but now everybody is experiencing what's going on today. Yeah. And so we were, even though we were believers, we received salvation, we weren't walking a Christian life. We weren't, we didn't, and more importantly, we didn't have wisdom. We didn't have knowledge of the kingdom. And so without that revelation, we lived in fear. Mm -hmm. uh, and with that fear, I mean, I had a successful home building business. We were planning an early retirement. It looked like we were living the American dream. And then seemingly overnight, we lost everything. Had to lay mm -hmm. off 88 employees, 300 subcontractors, going from having money in the bank and an early retirement to now finding ourselves buried in a half a million dollars of debt. Mm -hmm. No light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, literally, uh, the, the friends around us, uh, we had two friends, dear friends, commit suicide because mm -hmm. they became hopeless mm -hmm. and they just didn't see any way out. And even though we had salvation, we had no answers. And we were hopeless. I mean, we were at the end of our ropes. We had an argument over who was going to kill themselves. So. Right, yeah, because I mean. when finances and pressures that people are feeling today, we felt then, if you don't have answers and you didn't have knowledge of the kingdom mm -hmm. and what to do, you tried to rely on your own strength. You tried to right. ask other people who didn't have any better answers yeah, than right. you did. Yeah. And, uh, and so th that's where the cracks in the marriage start to come to the surface. See, when everything's going smooth, of course, everything seems fine. Mm -hmm. But when those pressures began to uh, come down on us, that's, that's when our marriage came to fall apart. And we went from not even, forget about loving each other, liking each other, we despised each other. But you know, truthfully, looking back, we despised ourselves even more. Right, right. And, and we look for somebody to blame. Yeah. Absolutely. When things get broken, as many things are doing right now, and it really magnifies our trust, doesn't right, it? Yeah. You found out where you trust because or when there's pressure, trust, right? yeah, your trust is not in the Lord, yeah. it's in all these things. And so how did it feel to be in that situation, Mindy? It was hopeless. It was like in a, 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 a pit, a, a dark pit. There was nobody, there was no hope. Was, and how many children do you have at three. home? You had three. You had at three at home at that yeah. time. Yeah. So your business is bankrupt, your marriage yeah. is in a bad place. Yeah. Where did you start to get out of this? Because obviously today you're 
You're living the good life. So what yes. happened? Praise yeah. God. T take us. Tell <laughs> us how to get out. Sure, sure. Well, it, it, as things sunk to its lowest point, uh, of course, we went to a marriage counselor, yeah. and the, the marriage counselor, after so many sessions, uh, really gave us some good wisdom. And she recommended. She said, you know, you can keep coming to this session, but if one of you was going to leave, you'd already be gone. She said, what you really need to do is get plugged into a good local church. And I thought that was kind of weird because she's getting 150 bucks an hour that we didn't really have, and <laughs> she's sending us away. But uh, but she did, and so so somebody kind of came into our life and shared a great deal of excitement. I mean, he sounded like he had a lot of excitement. I didn't know what he was selling because nobody's this excited about their church. But this gentleman was, and so I agreed. You know, we were at the bottom, but I said, I will go to this church one time as long as you promise to never talk to me again about it. I just wanted to get him off of, off of my back about it. And so we agreed and we came. And, of course, the first time we, was, we were here, we began to hear things we'd never heard before. So you started uh, to hear the Word of God, and it brought hope right. to you, brought answers to you. And I know today you're actually on a mission, right? Yeah. That's correct. You guys are on a mission with us, with others, uh, thousands of people at Faith Life Church where we pastor, but yeah. also now you work with Ford Financial Group, and that's a business we started even before we pastored, right. and uh, didn't know we'd still keep that business, but that business has helped thousands and thousands of people get out of debt, invest right. safely yes. for retirement. Tell us about your mission. Yeah. Sure, and well. you're part of that mission too, maybe. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so, of course, you know, after, as we were faced with our situation, we, we, we learned things we'd never learned. We began to learn about the kingdom. Yeah. See, I'd, I'd learned about salvation. I learned about God. I knew I was, a, a, I knew that I was saved, but I didn't understand I was a citizen. I didn't yeah. understand that I was, had, had, had mm -hmm. rights right. and, yeah. and, and privileges. And, in the kingdom of In the of God. kingdom yes. of God. Right. That's right. I didn't understand it. So this new revelation... Uh, after many years of being a Christian, uh, brought up hope. And so I remember the first time we talked about, uh, we went to a conference, a provision conference. You never want to miss one. If there's one coming up, you don't want to miss mm -hmm. it. But we went to it and we needed some answers about our finances because here we we're half a million dollars of debt, scheduled to be in debt till age 72 when we could begin to start rebuilding our retirement account. That was the hopelessness in the practical financial side. And so we went to the event and there was a course or a class called Get Out of Debt and Safeguard Your Investments. And Mindy, being the practical wise woman she was, <laughs> of course, I didn't think that at the time, but at that time she said, well, we should go to that one. I said, we don't need that. I, look, I've been in finances for years. I've run a multi-million dollar company, spend less, make more. That's how you get out of debt. I don't need a class like that. And I said, we got to get some supernatural miracle answer or something. I'll find a different course. And so, you know, that's what I was thinking because it was hopeless in my mind. Well, she said, I'm going to go to that course. I said, that's fine, but listen to me clearly. Don't give them our name. Don't give them our email. <laughs> don't give them our phone number. And uh, so she went to the course and she came out of that class with a big smile on her face. And she said, well, I signed us up for an appointment Thursday night. And that appointment, as reluctant as I was to talk to somebody else, because honestly, I was ashamed. I was ashamed, of, sure. even though I, I didn't control the entire housing market. It was out of my control, but I was ashamed that I'd let things get to that point. And so, you know, that, that hopelessness had really set in and, and taken over. So we went to the appointment. And when we had the appointment, we gave them our information, and uh, they, they put together a plan at no cost to us. Now, again, anything does cost any money. That made me suspicious. Yeah. And, of course, that's what we do at Ford Financial Group now. But as we had this plan, they showed us how we were going to be out of debt not in you know 30 years but in a much less time in fact our company's goal is to show people out of debt in five to seven years and when that happened and you see that and it's your numbers it's not a hypothetical right, it's an actual right. hope immediately <clears throat> rose up yeah. and i became and, and we were about ready to jump out of our chairs and dance around and so you know at that point then we began to uh, apply the practical principles we learned from ford financial group but these kingdom principles kept coming back and we thought wow if the practical changes we're making have an impact, what if we could apply the kingdom principles to it? So now we have the practical and the spiritual. It's where we get the supernatural results. Of course, we see that today because it didn't take 30 years. It didn't take 11 or 7, 4 years, 27 or 28 accounts paid. We praise God for that. Of course, at the time when she told me to apply for the job uh, of working at Ford Financial Group, I said, no, no, you don't understand what it is. Hopefully you're seeing a trend. You know, there's wisdom in, in a wife. And I, I, I was resisting that, which was the enemy's tactic of trying to keep me in the dark, right? But I, I went ahead and, and we applied and, and I thought, but they're never going to hire us. We're half million dollars in debt. 
And uh, it's kind of interesting because I always feel like that's what God has. He wants to take the folks, just as he did in your story, that right. makes no sense that this is what they're going to be able to do. Right. What you learn right. going through it, and of course, you know, God doesn't bring those things, right. but what you had to learn as far as faith, the kingdom laws, and you saw them work, then all of a sudden you have a story. Mm -hmm. And now you can actually speak from experience and help That's people, right. which is what we do. Right. Yes. And that becomes exciting. It's, a, it's fun to be on a mission when you know the outcome. It is. It's a purpose. Yeah. It's so, a Mindy, tell us your side of the story now. So, <laughs> I mean, obviously you went up that, those stairs. You went to that class. Yes. Uh, tell out. us your perspective of where the, you thought the family was going and what Steve needed. Well, I, <laughs> I understand that he's a leader. So he, yeah. he took the, the burden on himself and that that was it was really crushing him. It's a and lot of pressure. Yeah, isn't it? it is a lot of pressure. And so, I mean, this was a practical, like you said, I'm, I'm practical, so it was a practical solution. At least try it out. I mean, it's right there. I mean, God's given it to you right there, so go do it, right. you know? You know, it's, it's, we have free will, so if we don't do the things, and you know, it's, it, that's on us. That's our disconnect, mm -hmm. so. So um, anyhow, so when we signed up for this, and we, we, we got the results, like he said, and you can find our whole story, our whole testimony on FordFinancialGroup.com on our website, but um, mm -hmm. once we walk this out, and, it's, it, and <clears throat> now we're, I'm sorry, I'm kind of going on into another section, but now that we speak to other families, I mean, it, You'd be surprised at how many families are going through the exact same thing that yes. we went through. I There's mean, nothing new under the sun, right? It's right, the enemy's right. Attack. And Steve likes to say it's like um, your your neighbors to the left and right. It's like uh, ducks on a pond that they're they look like they're on glass, you know, just calm calm waters, and underneath their little legs are about ready to go give out. And it's just, I mean, so many people we meet with are just like that. They're hopeless, and what this plan does mm -hmm. is it brings hope to them. And and I mean, that's God created us for success. Yes, he right? did. And we don't have to pretend or, or hide in shame. Right. Like you, you said the shame. It just interesting Answers when people get into trouble. We were there too. And then you try to pretend that it's not the Titanic, right? you know, and why, yeah. why do we want to pretend while it's sinking? We need to cry for answers and help, and we've got right. answers, don't we? Right, right, and the enemy wants us to feel like we're isolated and alone, and we're not. We're not. Right. <laughs> and you're not either. You know what I want to do is we're coming right back. We're going to take a break here, and we'll come back and talk more about an in-depth comparison to that to now mm -hmm. and the answers that can apply to you, you. watching today. For more information and to get your own financial freedom plan with no cost or obligation, visit forwardfinancialgroup.com. Hi, I'm Gary Cassie, and you will never fulfill your destiny until you fix your money thing. Visit GaryCassie.com and don't forget to hit the subscribe button below for more amazing weekly videos on fixing your money thing. And thanks for watching.